Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now, in this video, we are gonna talk about the emotions. Now, emotions are great. They can take you to the next level of success, but in coding and programming, emotions can let you down. Let's talk about this in this video. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now, coming back on to my point, you should never attach emotions with programming. Now, let me take you with the scenarios as well as I'll show you or share you a couple of incidents, uh, what I faced during the life, and uh, that will surely help you to understand why emotions are really bad. So. Let me just put it in this way that a lot of you might be in love with Python language. Now, obviously, it's pretty common to see a lot of people liking the language, not because uh, it's so much good and awesome. That's that's completely another way, because you are coming from a background of maybe C or C++ or let's just say Java in that you write a lot of code and your code does a very little. So you have to write a lot of things there. But in the Python, you don't have to write that. It's so much clean and you don't have the curly braces and all these things. So and obviously a lot of big part of that reason is uh, since it's a scripting language, it is used in a lot of information security stuff. So eventually people develop a lot of love for the Python, but that's that's completely a wrong way of going into the programming. Let me tell you why. Now, for example, let's just say for me, I love C++. Let's just say that I don't uh, that much, but let's just say I love C++. So I'm doing X project in C++ and that is very good. And then eventually I got a project uh, about web development. I'm still trying to figure out, hey, is there a way in which I can render my HTML or CSS via C++? That would be completely wrong because I'm since I'm emotionally attached with the C++, I'm looking forward for the ways to do the stuff that was not meant to be done in the C++ and I'm trying to do that. That is simply something bad you can do with your life. Now, not only it becomes uh, very complicated, it's completely a wrong way of handling the projects as well. So what I'm trying to say you is that there is no such good language or bad language thing in here. Python is good, Java is good too. But again, these are meant for different scenarios. And a focus, try to try to focus a lot on the programming itself. It's not about language. It's not about Python is good and Java is bad or Java is good, Python is bad. It's all about syntax. And eventually in the life, you'll realize that it's all about loops, function, classes, and object orientation there. So my number one tip would be never ever get emotional with the programming languages. Yes, it's good to fight about uh, Python is good and all of that, but it's, it's just a fun fight there. Apart from that, if you get onto the real life scenario, it's, it's never going to be good in that way. So number one thing, just try to figure out the lot of concepts that you're looking up uh, for the programming. Don't just get emotionally attached with that. It's wrong. Now, second thing is also related to the emotions as well. Don't get emotional about your code as well. Now, let me tell you about that. Once I was working with the stadium graphic uh, company, uh, the company's job was uh, simply to put stadium graphics there on, on various kind of uh, stadiums of baseball stadiums and all of that. It was a US based client and lovely client. And it was pretty big project, more than thousand bucks. So we really enjoyed working on that project. And there was one appointment system on which I was working on. And uh, eventually uh, what they were looking on is some good way of having an appointment system, which is pretty much automatic. Uh, like uh, as soon as the appointment is done, uh, the payment should be paid off and then they should receive an email and automatically that should update in the calendar and as well as set a reminder alarm on their mobile app as well. So pretty complicated project and uh, we were working really, really hard on that project. And uh, eventually we did a really lovely job on that. But what happened after that, the client said, we didn't like it. And uh, we really worked really hard on that. Uh, it was complete a mess and a client didn't like it. And that's it. We had to literally throw the code in the garbage. Now, that was not a waste of our valuable time because obviously we may try to use that in some other places as well. But to be honest, uh, at that point of time, we felt really, really disheartened there because it was so much of the hard work. We loved the code that we designed, but hey, it happens. It happens all the time. Sometimes you put a feature there and people don't like that feature and you have to literally throw that in the garbage can. It happens. It will always happen. So what I'm saying, 
it's just a piece of code don't get too much emotional there it's it's meant to be there just there and your job should be looking up for getting better programmer and don't get emotionally attached sometimes you will design a product you will design a feature and uh, eventually you have to just delete that and uh, somehow it felt like that so my advice is uh, keep that emotions aside and keep that coding thing aside and always uh, i'll talk more about the programming languages and all these things but my number one advice is look out for many languages there once you have mastered one then look out for others because there are other languages we can which can does the same job uh, much more efficiently than what you are doing right now so i hope this uh, tip really helped you out and in case you think that this video can be helpful for somebody make sure you share that on the social network as well and uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well i am really really liking this community on the youtube i cannot thank you enough i'll keep making the more videos and i'll surely catch you up in the next video